Previously on the Beach House. The Beach House is here in California. Wow. Let me know if you guys see any dinosaurs. We found it! I found it! Good job! Wow. You found it! A key. Go tell him quick! I wonder if that means there's another walk that we have to get in maybe. Oh! Whoa! Another one! Let's set it on this table here. It might be a trick one. It's not opening. Let's do that again. Oh! Look! You got it! Golden treasure box. What does it say? No way! Your trip is almost over! We Yay! We've been on this trip for a long time! <laughs> Head to a western village north of Santa Barbara, Mr. E. The trip is almost over. With my head in the clouds and my feet on the map, we go chasing the sun and we'll follow the map. When this world got me feeling small, I'll be sure to tell my story whenever our adventure comes. Welcome to the beach house, you guys. Today we have an adventure planned. We're heading to a western town just north of Santa Barbara. But we're getting all packed up right now and I just got a knock at the door. The camp is kicking us out because it's past checkout and we're still here. So he's like, you guys gotta go. So I didn't even realize how late it was. We've just been getting up and getting ready for the day. So I'm gonna get all the connections disconnected and try to see if we can get out of here just as quick as we possibly can. We just got up and this guy just came and knocked on the door and said, get out of here. Checkout time was already here. And so we are trying to get everything ready and done out of the way. This is probably the biggest thing that we have to do before we can go because you can't drive when you have to sit at his level. <laughs> so we're putting all the blankets away, getting everything put away so that we can leave and go to the next place. Michael's already found the next place. Hey and guys, now, look at what I found. This was on the back of the RV. <gasps> Pizza from the Urgent. Oh I wonder goodness. if that guy who was knocking on our door was actually Mr. E. <gasps> he kind oh of, my goodness. He looked a little bit like him. Did you guys see him? He had glasses on. No. Kind of an old guy. Um, but I wonder if we need to open up this right now. I yeah, it says urgent. Open it up right now. Okay, all right. Oh my goodness. I didn't see him. That's okay. Urgent. It says... It's got a shark on it. Hey, maybe it's the pop-up book. Maybe it's the pop-up book. It has a shark. No way. Maybe it's the pop-up book. This is from oh. Mr. E. What's the pop-up book? <gasps> Whoa. What does that say? It says danger. Danger. Danger, and then you just pulled out the note. The Let's note. read the note right now. It says, you are in danger. <gasps> As I have been watching you, I have also been aware of a growing threat to your safety. Oh my goodness. Bandits are after you and your treasure. They know the hunt is almost over and they want it for themselves. You know where to go. Get out now. <gasps> we have to go. Oh my goodness. Go right Guys, now. okay, let's hurry up and get everything finished so that we can leave right now. <laughs> Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's get everything. Hey, put that back in there. Let's get this all Kelly picked up. Crazy. Gotta lift this thing Kelly so you can see out the window. Okay, get all the blankets on James's bed. Hurry, guys, hurry. Is it ready for me to push it up? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Ah! This time, I just don't know. Go, go! Ah. Where's Charlie's seat? I'm Charlie's seat's in the front. Hurry up, guys, hurry. Here, I'll take that. That goes in the back. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm gonna get out of here. There's a guy in a cowboy hat! <gasps> oh my goodness, there really is! Oh. Walking around! Let's go, let's go! Oh my goodness, guys. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Charlie, get in your seat, quick! Ellie, sit down in your seat right now. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, sit down, sit down. Get buckled, get buckled. We have a go. Let's go. We've been seeing that same RV a lot. 
That's true. No, all right, I'm turning no, on the car. No, yeah. Okay, the door's locked. No, are all these shut? Okay, I think Michael's getting dressed. Not. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta okay. go right now. All right, let's go. Yes. Got the scooters put in? Yes. Okay, all right. Hope we didn't leave anything behind. <gasps> I see a white SUV. No joke, there's a white SUV and it's going the same way we are. Oh no. Oh, oh, they're right there, they're right there, look at that. The white SUV. Oh my goodness, guys. Actually, listen, um, when that, we have been seeing Silver RVs since the first RV park. Yeah. In all of the and they are always next to us. Uh, guys, there's a white truck out here on the side of the road. I think they're waiting for us. Oh my goodness. Another half white! No way! There is right there! Where's the white truck? It's right there. Do you see it? It's hiding behind the fence. There's a girl looking Somebody's at it. Somebody's sitting in the. Somebody's sitting in the white truck right there waiting. Oh my goodness, we gotta get out of here, guys. Okay, you have to hold up, Becca. Okay. Yes, they're right there! And look, there's another white truck! Oh my goodness, they're everywhere! Oh no. I think we're trapped. They're in front and behind there's us. There's no time to smile, we gotta go! We gotta leave right now. They're here. There's another white truck right there. I wonder if they don't know that we're here and they're heading to the other white trucks. And maybe they're rallying. Meeting up. That means Mr. E just barely put that note there. I really think that guy who knocked on our door and told us to leave was actually Mr. E. Yeah, I think you're right. That that is so scary. That means that that means that I think they didn't exactly know what RV we were in, but they were all at the RV park ready to find us. And Mr. E was just watching out for us and was like, "Leave. They're there." Maybe all the people we met just had to. Oh, guys, there's one coming right after us. Ah! They're right there. Oh, oh no, and they're a white truck too. What if they're trying to surround us? What if they're trying to get in front of us no, and behind us? A cowboy us? hat on. A cowboy hat? He had a cowboy hat on. Oh my goodness. There's another white truck behind us. And I think I see another one coming too. cars behind us right now are white, guys. All of them are white right now. They're all bandits. I feel like they're trying to surround us. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. Look at all these white cars. Where are they going? What are they doing? <gasps> what if they're trying to slow us down? That's another white truck. There is? Yes. Oh really? Yes. They're everywhere. I think there's a hive of them here or something. <gasps> what if we're getting close to like their headquarters or something? We're in, we're in California. Maybe these are different bandits, but they're part of the same team. Oh. There's a the, lot more of them out here. Yeah, like this is crazy. And I feel like they're going somewhere and that we're kind of going under the radar. Either, either they're acting like they don't know that we're the beach house or... What if they don't know what RV we're in? What if they know we're in the area? Yeah. And they don't. And we got out of there so quick because of that note. Maybe they didn't see us. Maybe they don't know that that we're in this RV. Maybe they just know that we're in the area. And they're looking. I don't know. Well, I know Mr. Mr. E is really looking out for us. Oh my goodness, they're what? They're everywhere. And here's another one right here on the left. Whoa! They just keep coming and coming and coming. That is so crazy. Oh, 
there's a drone up above. Guys, I just don't know if we'll be able to, to escape and get out of the way of all of these bandits. Yeah, we're not very nimble in this big old RV. I don't know if we're gonna be able to outrun them for sure or shake them, but I'm hopeful that maybe they don't know that we're in this RV and maybe we're gonna be okay. We'll just have to let you guys know how things go as we're driving along. Yeah, I'm really hoping that we're able to get away from all of them. No way. Nobody is behind us anymore. We went off of the freeway and we were able to get into a spot where they couldn't really see us. And then we got onto this old road, road that was off the freeway, and we are good. We don't have anybody following us anymore. That was really scary. It was really super scary. But I think we're safe now. I haven't seen any white trucks or anybody looking like bandits. Ever since we've been on this back road, I haven't seen any bandits or white trucks or anything. So I think we're okay now. Good. I found a western town. There's like a little like cowboy village or whatever. Yeah. We're just north of Santa Barbara. We're actually getting pretty close right now. It's just going to be right over these hills over here. Okay. And uh, hopefully, I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that we're not being led into a trap. But yeah. We'll just have to see when we get there. Hey, look at this. These are the pictures of hey. some grass, a big tree, and another bat, and it falling around the track. We're almost there. There's ranches everywhere and like paths. And the trees, it kind of looks a lot more deserty. Yeah. Kind of like a ranch, kind of looks like a desert western. It's not so green and, and tropical. Yeah. We're gonna be there in just a minute. Cool. We're in Los Padres National Forest. Help prevent wildfires. All right guys, I think this is the place. It's definitely like wild country. But I'm worried. Everyone keep on the lookout because there could be bandits around any corner. There, there could be people waiting for us. So keep your eyes open in case this is a trap. That's true. We were told by Mr. E to leave because it was dangerous. But now we're going to the place where he told us to go. And we don't know if he could be a bandit or not. He could be a bandit. We don't know. So we're just going to go and see where this takes us. We're going exactly where he told us to go though. If ever there was bandit country, I think this would be it. Yeah. Wow, look at this road. It's sheer cliff on that side almost. The thing that scares 
me the most is that we're being led out on this one road. I don't think there's a different way to get out. I think this might be the only way out and I hope that we're not like gonna be blockaded in here and trapped in this spot really far off from the beaten path. That's it, we can see the RVs down there. Maybe we're gonna be okay. Yeah. Okay, mom's making sandwiches. Got some lunch going on. <laughs> and we have gold keep fish. up all our energy. Mom's hey, making hey, down hey, the hey, hey, Found hey, us, found hey, us, found hey, us. Hey, they all hey, have hey, peanut hey, butter. Good. Hey, we hey, got some sandwiches here, guys. Let's take a look around this camp just to make sure the perimeter is secure. I don't want to get ambushed by any bandits, so I'm going to climb this ladder right here on the back of the RV. And I'm gonna go up on the top just to see what we can see from here. But overall, it looks safe. All right, guys, so we just got done swimming today. It's been a beautiful day. The weather's been really, really nice, and I feel good here. Like, we haven't seen any bandits. We haven't seen any danger or felt any, anybody was following us or anything. This is a really good place, and I, and I feel good that we actually were able to escape bandits. So, we're just kind of looking around right now because I we still haven't found a clue since we got here. And I'm not sure like what we're looking for or what to expect, but we're kind of just keeping our eyes open. Oh whoa, where was that? Well, Mr. E left it there. It... We just got back from swimming and he must have put it there on the bench right as we were gone. It's one of those things again. The pop-up. Oh, another pop-up. The clue from Mr. E is found. We're just about to open it, and I was just thinking about how when we first got here and we parked the RV, there was no note on that table because this RV spot is not an assigned spot. So we picked this RV spot. We went swimming. Yeah. Then while we were swimming, that's when he must have left it, the note, because it wasn't there when we got here, and he would have had no way of knowing this was the camp spot that we picked which means he was here, and I don't think he was here that long ago either. Yeah. So I think we're ready now to open up this clue. And James, since you found it, I think you should get to be the one to do the honors. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where okay. are we going tomorrow? Oh. oh, it's got a palm tree on it. Open it up. Whoa! Whoa! It's like a man sleeping on a hammock. Get the hat. It's a couple. Okay, it says. Oh, it is okay. <laughs> he's got a hat on. I was gonna read it. He's got a hat on. It's interesting how he's got a. I was gonna read it. He's got a cowboy hat on. And that's a bandit. It says, "Relax and get fancy. You escaped the bandits' threat. You are safe here. Trust me. The end is here. Tomorrow morning, look up to the sky for the beginning." Of the end, Mr. E. We're big. Whoa! I can't believe we just went on a treasure Okay, wait. no treasure, just to come back home. Well, it, it said, treasure? "Look up tomorrow morning." It says, "Tomorrow morning, look up to the sky for the beginning of the end." So it's not over yet. He, he didn't tell us to go home. I think that. It's almost over. Like, I think that there's more tomorrow morning. Look up to the sky. What do you think of that? Maybe the, maybe he flew the plane for that day and then he, um, wait, what is on an airplane thing? It's blue and made a clue. <laughs> what if that thing is out tomorrow and you look up and there's a clue written on it? Ooh, that would be cool. Wow. Look, you can see the shadow of the man. Ooh, oh, that's cool. cool. He does look a little bit like a bandit, though. Yeah. Which makes me wonder if... That's a coincidence, or if that means... That there's a hidden message there. What if the bandits are still out there? Even though he's telling us that you're safe here, what if, they're, what if we're actually not safe here? And this is the trap. Hmm. 
We haven't seen anybody though. Maybe they're just hiding themselves well. Maybe it will trap us. I hope they're not gonna trap us. Hey guys, that's it for today's vlog. I think we're gonna be safe here. If anything strange happens or if we see any other bandits or anything, we'll let you guys know and we'll film it for sure. But I think I'm just gonna trust to know up to this point. I feel comfortable trusting Mr. E. Yeah. I feel like he hasn't led us astray yet. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, he he did warn us and get us out of there before all of those white trucks started showing up. Right. So. I think he's good. Let's just give the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah. With the information we have. Okay. Sounds good. But that also means that we're almost done. When we were kids, just hanging at the playground, when all we needed.